Afternoon, folks. It's Hunter Akers here with Michael Shannon. Hey, guys. And we're just tackling some more of your brain-busting questions. And uh, right now, what we've come upon is FISBOs, which is for sale by owner. Should mm -hmm. I sell my house with a realtor or should I sell my house myself? Well, if I do it myself, I save more money. That seems to be the You're idea. You're not paying commission. You're right? going to save money. That little 3% Boom. can be big, right? Well, let's go check into it. So if we just initially do a quick Google search... Most of these websites by Fiscal Geek, Redfin, they would go against using a realtor. And that's funny that they Cause, make... Because as this person points out, he's not a realtor, but he knows 6% in money means it's, it's, a, it's a lot of real money. We'll see here. Let's check this out. Odds are, thinking of that 6% commission you owe to sell your home, when you're talking about 300 grand home, that's real money. Okay. Okay, Fiscal Geek, because I know Fiscal Geek means you're heavy in the real estate game let's uh let's just look at the actual statistics yeah, let's, let's, look up, let's look up actual numbers uh since he's a geek and apparently can't do those he just asks questions into the into the stratosphere and and just figures it out himself let's get into some real estate stats. we like facts around here not opinions yeah, so this not, is taken from the national association of realtors this is nar 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 this is as legit as it gets okay and we're going to scroll down, um, if you don't mind going down to the FISBO here, section. Here is, uh, here's the deal. As we're rolling down, we get down here to we go. FISBO statistics. All right. So the very first statistic, if you read, FISBOs account for 7% of sales. So majority, Seven. Of, majority of people, 93% are using realtors. And that's for a reason, folks. Okay, the typical FISBO home, so this is average. On average, it will sell for $200,000 compared to $265,000 if you do it with an agent. So on average, this is not you're with a great agent. This is you're just with a run-of-the-mill agent. Random person, basically. You are going to save $65,000. There's no way from a mathematical standpoint, we can do 3% of $200,000. There's no way that's even close. Not even close. So from a factual standpoint, that's already debunked as a lie. Okay, just for listing your home. B by not spending, that doesn't mean you're saving. Absolutely. Not spending means you're doing it on your own. You now do not have a professional watching your back. You do not have a professional running open houses, bringing clients to see it. Marketing. You will spend, spend, not save, spend a lot more money without a realtor than you would by not paying them the commission when it closes. Absolutely. Let's 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 get into just, just yeah, let's the think, breakdown to the as cost. to why. So right now on average you're already out at sixty five grand. So let's then what you gotta do is you gotta market your home. So you have to buy signs, you have to create flyers, you have to door knock and spend time yourself, which is also money promoting your home and trying to find a buyer. So boom, you're out time, more money yourself. Now, the longer that your house stays on the market because you're not working with a professional, uh, you're working with yourself, you're also paying monthly payments on that house, okay? So not only are you down from paying for your own stuff to market. Gotta keep you, paying that mortgage. You, now you've lost 65 grand out because you're not listing with a professional, but you're losing monthly money each month. Now, let's get past all that. And let's get to the litigation side. Does anyone else know how to read a professional contract? Does anyone else know how to read a professional contract? Are, you, that you, are know? you an attorney? Are, are you a real estate attorney? Have you ever done one in your entire life? And it's you're not supposed to. The likelihood of that is very slim that's to none. That's okay. And that's totally fine. Not your job. But you will get out negotiated because you will not know what you're doing. Okay? There is no reason for you to know how to fill out a real estate contract. The, the same way you wouldn't go to court and defend yourself, you're not going to sell a home, something that is very important to you, where there is tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars at stake, if it goes poorly, if something goes wrong on the contract, if you're on the hook for something you don't even know exists, because again, you're not a realtor, you're not a real estate lawyer. The point is you need to have someone watching your back. Absolutely. You need to... There is value in paying your lawyer and not going to jail for the maximum sentence because you decided to play lawyer in court today. Because you wanted to save 6%. Think about that. Think about the weight that carries. Now, we're not here telling you or trying to sell you anything. We're literally reading facts off of the NAR page. Yeah, everybody is different, but 90 plus percent of people had a realtor. Absolutely. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? Why, why is there such a difference between people listing their house and the price that they can get 
without a realtor versus when they have a realtor. What are those things? Just look into it. it it's not a mystery. You can look up the stats. You can, you can see for yourself. The people who have a real estate agent are winning. They get paid way more than that 3%. They get paid way back because like he said, 200,000 when you're selling that house by yourself versus 265, we're not even in the ballpark of 3% for his commission or 6% for his commission. It's not even close. Not to mention every single month that goes by while you try to figure out how to do his job, just like telling the attorney in, in criminal court how to do his job, you've wasted months and months and months. You can't move into the next house. Your wife is screaming at you. The kids are upset. You said you were gonna move three months ago. All because you decided I'm going to do it on my own, even though I'm in the very, very large, very small minority of people that would even attempt to do it. And I'm better at than Hunter is at his job, even though I'm a whatever and I'm not a realtor. I'm somehow better than an actual professional at their own job. Absolutely. It's a silly concept. You wouldn't walk into the dentist and tell him what to do. You wouldn't walk into the doctor's office and say, look, I got some paperwork off IMBD so, or off uh, WebMD. So here you go. Uh, I know I know what surgery I need. Don't tell the professionals how to do their job, but more importantly, don't get screwed over thinking you're gonna save because there is no savings when you lose a ton. Right. It's it, it literally from a factual standpoint, you wouldn't be saving yourself money, and you would honestly be losing a lot of time. And time, that's something effort, you can't energy, get back. and money yeah. all down the tubes. Absolutely. That's what we're here to warn you guys about, and you know we really appreciate it. Please drop a like and subscribe if you found some information that was interesting. If you're thinking about, you know, uh, for sale by owners a different way, we appreciate it. Uh, hit the bell for notifications so you get our new videos that we're pumping out. And uh, this has been Real Estate Television. We'll see you guys next time.